Yes, come on. Hi, uh, my name is Elvis. Uh, I'm going to be your student nurse for today or your nurse for today. So I'm here for another assessment, which is going to be your abdominal and your unigenital system. Okay. So um, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of what I'm going to be doing. So I'll be checking on your bowel sounds, on your abdominal region. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about your urinary system. And then I'm going to locate some organs of your abdominal, like your stomach, your spleen, and your kidney. And then uh, uh, pretty much for that, that's what I'm going to be asking you. So, can you identify me your name, Mayo Deroben? Shlataka, 11-1-94. Okay, thank you. So, I did my two patients' identification. Um, do you have any allergy reaction today? No. Oh, when did you have your last bowel movement? This morning. Okay, thank you. So, all right. Um, so, with this uh, assessment, I'm going to have my client laying flat. Um, on the bed so i'm going to leave the bed to a comfortable height lay, having her, her laying flat so i'm going to go do some hand hygiene and then provide some privacy i did my two patient identification and explained the procedure and what i'm going to be doing so i will start by um inspecting the abdominal region so i'm going to pull off her clothes and for this assessment I'm going to be needing just my stethoscope as my supplies so I'm going to open your stomach and check all right looking at the stomachs it looks symmetrical I don't see any scars any bruises or whatsoever so I'll be doing some uh, after my inspection I'll be doing some little palpation to see if she has any pains on any regions on the abdomen so i'm going to start from the right side do you have any pain when i push no okay all right so she doesn't have any pain was uh, any pain so far so locating the organs on the abdomen so uh on the right side, just below the uh, bre right breast, you have the splint. And uh, midway in the middle, just below, you have the stomach. And then on the other corner, just by the stomach, underneath a little bit, you have the liver. And then um, the kidneys should be like way on the back like if you go from the left side of the abdomen all the way to the back you're gonna have the kidney which i'm gonna show you that so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, auscultation to see if we can have any abnormal bowel sounds so i'm gonna start from the right side of the stomach which is like on this region right here i'm gonna listen Okay, gonna go across on top. Okay, so I don't hear any abnormal bowel movement. It sounds <clears throat> okay. So usually between three to f uh, five seconds, and then you know you get the sound. And if you have the sound like pretty really loud, that should be hyperreactive. And like, you know, some sounds are loud, but not way loud, so it's active. And then if you can barely hear the sound, that is uh, hypoactive, which is mean like really low bowel sound. And if you can't hear the sound at all, then there should be an abnormalities on the abdominal region concerning the bowel. Maybe the patient is constipating, uh, uh, having constipation, having some blocked up, you know, like food, poor digestion. So, 
So uh, when did you, uh, oh, sorry. Do you have any issues urinating? No, I'm good. Okay, so my client has no issue urinating. So anything like uh, frequen frequency, you know, he doesn't have any of that. So I've checked the abdominal region and tested for the bowel sounds and everything sounds good. The stomach looks symmetrical. So I'm going to lift my client a little bit to check on the abdominal muscles. So can you raise your head a little bit? Okay. So when I raise my client up, I can see a line in the middle and I can really see the muscles popping out on both sides. So can you sit up for me? Okay. Uh, turn all the way that way. Okay, like I said, the kidney is located uh, behind in the on the back, like midway down to the back, like right here. That's where the two kidneys are located, the left and the right kidney. So I'm gonna do some little um, tapping if I thought she has any pain. Any pain? No. Okay, so I've checked the both kidney. I've do a little palpation on it. She has no pain or whatsoever. You. Okay, I'm finished with the assessment. Checking the four quadrants of the abdomen, identifying the organs, stomach, liver, spleen, and the uh, stomach, spleen, liver, and the kidney. So she has no pain. I've uh, did some little palpation. So after which I'm gonna go ahead and do my hand hygiene, give her core light, put her table to reach, have her laying back on a comfortable position, and then put the bed to a lower level. And I've asked her; she has no questions for me. And that ends the assessment. Thank you.